Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm going to throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor, you see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please, approach and proceed. Not that again. <laughs> Okay, right, uh, welcome back everybody to Get Even, this is part three, and it seems like we're back to reality. Uh, we're not reliving our memories, and um, I don't remember having a look at these before, to be perfectly honest with you. Who's this? Is this the girl that we were meant to save? Is this the girl who maybe blew up? I'm not entirely sure. Could be. And this? Oh. Oh, is this the building that we were just in? Yeah. This is... Yeah, I think that might be where I stole the corner gun. Yeah, the Glock building. <laughs> okay. Right. Is that it? Anything else to find? I think I pretty much had a look at everything over here. The photo has, like, torn itself to pieces, so I guess we're not going back there. No chance of doing that again. Um, okay. I think we're done. Or are we? I don't know. That's new. And so are these. Why is it glowing green? Oh, this is it! This is what he was talking about, and oh Christ, another one? Another memory? Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Let's have a look at these two, though. So, uh, a controversial ADS... Oh, right, I see. Emails leaked to the press. Here we go. Alright, so let's see. Following last month's security breach when an unidentified intruder managed to infiltrate ADS's main facility, the fourth largest defense contractor in Europe now faces fresh concerns about the security of its online data. The leaked employee email sent anonymously to the press divulged 12 of ADS's previously confidential overseas clients, including contracts with suspected terrorist organizations. In a statement to the press, uh, the CEO, Roger Howard, addressed the issue, and he said, Our business and our client roster are highly confidential, and we will do everything within our power to keep it that way. We have a very strict code of conduct at ADS regarding who we do business with, and any allegations of deals with terrorist organizations are completely false. And that is probably completely wrong. Uh, he later added, Our privacy has been compromised in a way that is entirely unacceptable to us, and I will not rest until the parties responsible have been brought to justice. In the meantime, our clients and all our employees have my full support. And there you go. So, right, maybe this ties in to the kidnapped girl. Maybe that was his sort of revenge thing? I don't know. No, I'm not really sure, but there you go. Okay. And there's something else as well, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> one of the emails, possibly? It looks like it. Uh, sorry. Hello, Christian. Sorry I respond to your email a week after you sent it, but we're in the eye of a shitstorm here at ADS, and, well, if you've seen the news in the last five days, you probably get the picture. Some guy not only stole our blueprints and wiped the service clean, he also took the opportunity to leak more than 500 of our emails, including Rogers! I won't be surprised if we go down after this. I mean, the whole fucking ADS. I'm not exaggerating, Christian. Yesterday, Roger locked himself in his office for six hours with a loaded gun. Setting my problems aside for a minute, no, I'm not mad that you and Chloe couldn't make it to our anniversary. Uh, Chloe's due next month, am I right? I totally understand, but I hope to visit all three of you when the dust settles. And that's Eva or Ava. There you go. Right, so... Is that it? Are we done reading now? I think so. That was a lot of reading, and uh, one hell of a memory. I think we're about to have another one. What the hell is this? Is this a place? Me? Where am I now? Is this another memory? Not quite. Huh. Consider this a filing cabinet, Mr. Black, of all the evidence you gather. We'll make sense of it eventually. Any information filed by the Pandora is accessible for you in this room. Each board represents a different memory. Give it right. a try. Look at a couple of boards and see what happens. All right. Let's see. The kidnapping, the man from the Lithurst Asylum? Any connections or links your mind may have made, even unconsciously, are recreated visually by the Pandora. Oh, I see. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further, or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. <laughs> so I think we're quite literally inside my own mind right now, which is kind of amazing. 
And it looks like all the documents that I've seen, and all the password photos as well, is all on this board. And is that 84% of everything? I mean, there are a couple of gaps. Yeah, a couple of A4 sheets of paper, or, I don't know, a couple of leaflets, or posters or something, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. And what about the others? Okay, so the kidnapping? How did I do with the kidnapping? Oh, 94%! Oh, that one was missing. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, just as I was getting gassed, I didn't manage to um, to identify that piece of evidence. I think it was lying on the floor. Okay. And what's this? The man from the Lithurst Asylum. Wow, I'm missing quite a lot here, really. 49% though. Alright. Oh, this is more to do with me, is it? Oh, this is everything that I found in the asylum. Uh, is that it? Okay. So there's a few more boards, so this is going to be quite a long game, I guess. Are all of these going to be different memories? Cool. And what about these doors? I'm assuming they're not going to work. No. <laughs> that's really nice, though. That's a, that's a good way to keep your documents together without having, like, a journal, I suppose. Right, so back to the asylum? Very good, Mr. Black. Your <laughs> transitions are becoming much easier. Yeah. Right. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black. And apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more as you proceed. Then let's hurry this up so I can get the fuck out of here. No, Mr. Black, <laughs> we move at my pace. You cannot just shoot your way through every obstacle like you did when you broke into ADS. This not is not every obstacle. Not a firing range. Just because I wanted to see what would happen if I did kill someone, and then I ended up killing five or six others. I mean, ugh, whatever. <laughs> I think I did fairly well. I did some of it stealthily. Right. Seems like we're actually getting kind of close to some more evidence. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, well, we're not going back the way we came. Up here? Up here it is. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be on the scanner right now. Have we got any red dots or, or blue dots? No, I suppose we wouldn't have any blue dots, would we? Because this isn't a memory. This is actually what's happening. God damn, this game's kind of confusing. <laughs> Not confusing, but whoa! Red! Hey! Why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. <laughs> now move along. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a perfectly... Whoa, that's a perfectly good excuse. Alright, this has got to be it, isn't it? Yeah. Someone axed him to death? Shit. Patient name, Albert Hall. Suffers from severe panic disorder. What is this? I offer you this servant, O puppet master, in gratitude for sending your obedient pawn to set me free of my earthly captivity. Soon I will help it reach the light as well. The passage is open. What? Okay. I need to get out of this nut house. I really do. Right, back to this. I did see someone running around. I don't like that. Through here? Right. Okay. Relinquish your earthly vessel and become one with the light. No thanks. I will read this, though. The walls speak. Only the puppet master can set us free. There is a chosen one somewhere inside Lithurst. He'll bring us the light. He'll give us the power. Power to wake from the nightmares within nightmares. And that's from Donkey Kong. Uh, with your help, my master, I finally managed to escape. Right. Oh, I, oh, yeah, different bit of text at the bottom there. Weird. Very weird. Okay, through here. Anything on television? Oh, I keep seeing rats out of the corner of my eye. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not use that. What's this, though? Tomorrow, my master, you break our chains, and let us out of our cages, and fill our eyes with light, and our mouths with laughter, and our words with wisdom, to fully appreciate what you have given us. Freedom. Right. Has this got anything to do with that, like, cult leader? The, the self-confessed cult leader, I wonder? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Right. Oh, God. I'm ready for you. Hang on.
Wait, hang on, where are we? Have I been here before? Maybe I've been here before. Bipolar disorder. Yeah, I think we've, we've seen all this, haven't we? Well, Kaufman, patient. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all decisions are made by a third party. Yeah, we've been here before. This is where I sort of emerged. Okay, hello. Oh, <laughs> just for a moment I thought he might be playing the piano. A guest! <laughs> a guest! <laughs> I didn't see you there. I'm sneaking around like a cat. <laughs> Wait, is that again? <laughs> He's the Mad Hatter then, is he? One up or two. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, as long as you're safely sealed behind this door, I think I'm alright with this. Damn it. No way through. Ah, right. And I suppose there's no finding picture frames or anything to get the code? No, I guess not. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Do you know the code? Jesus Was Christ. It around? The code for the ah, door. I maybe. need the code. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Code. Secret code. It's all private. It's all private. It's all private. Ah, it is a party after all. Ah, it is a party. There must be prizes. Ooh, I love prizes. <laughs> I like this guy. Hopefully I don't have to shoot him in the head. Ah, twinkle, twinkle, little cat. How I wonder where you're at. Search for answers high and low. Right. Turn off the lights and let it glow. Little cat lost in the dark. Can you find my secret marks? <laughs> maybe. So, hang on. UV light, maybe? Is that what you... Hang on. Ah, hang on. What have we got going on here? And where does that go? Up to the... Thi oh, no, not, not up to there. Straight through to the office, apparently. Right, let's see where these footprints come from. In here? Okay. On the mattress, right. Yeah, this used to be locked, didn't it? Alright. Noughts and crosses. 221 or 22001. Is that it? 22001. Alright. <laughs> Nothing else? Oh, no, no. There might be, actually. Wait. Oh. Footprints in every room, really? Oh, we got something over here this time, right. Uh, one, one, two, zero, okay. Is that it? One, one, two, zero, right. No, that can't be right. That's gonna be a long code if that's the case, unless of course we have to add up all the numbers. Right, hang on, let's go right to the very end. Let's go all the way over here. Yeah, we got footprints. Right, what have we got in here? One. Just one? I think it's just one. Okay, so... I don't know. If it's going from left to right, maybe the code starts with one? One. Okay. And the second one? No. There we are. Four plus four equals eight. One... One eight? Let's, let's assume one eight. Okay. And then we got... Well, collectively that's four, I suppose. One eight four... Five. One eight four five. I'm hoping so. Otherwise, it's going to get kind of complicated. Let's try it. One eight four five. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Part puzzle game as well. I I like this. This is really weird. No, I, you know what? I, I, I don't think I want to be on that side of the door. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are still red on my map, and I, I don't really like that. Okay, so the office. Can't open the office. What have we got over here? Uh, visiting rules and regulations. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, one visit each week from members of his or her family. Uh, physical contact not allowed. During all visits, the patient will confine his or her talk to personal matters and refrain from discussing other patients' institutional matters or treatment methods whatsoever. Oh, if you violate the rules, that will result in immediate and permanent termination. Of visitation or in privilege. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> not just termination, not, not, not death, not execution. 
Okay. Something else over here? Or over here? No? Okay. This is bizarre. Oh shit, here we go. Hmm. I, I could just pop him right now. Or I could sneak up behind him and try and take him out like that. Oh fuck. Right. Ammo? For me? Right, thank you very much. Not much. Okay. His music. Leave him be? Can I leave him be? I don't know. Where are we? Have we got to go past him or? I think we kind of do, to be honest. Maybe I can leave him be. I'll try, I guess. I'll try. But just in case. Around here? Can we go through here? No. Fuck. You! You! No, no, no! <laughs> I was just spamming F there. I didn't use bullets! I used the fist! Right. Through here? Through here. Yeah, okay. Wait, did, did I actually kill him though? Maybe I did. Fuck. Still, you know, there's no more threat, at least for a while. This is a big old place. I wonder if we're going to explore all of the buildings, because there's, you know, building A, B, C, and D, right? Uh, no idea. Unless, of course, it's 1845. I guess I'll try it. That door no. is irrelevant to our investigation. Don't no. concern yourself with it for now. What's the deal with this bunny? I've, I, I saw that back at the ADS building as well. Very strange indeed. Right, I, I guess we'll be coming back. In here? <sighs> Just toys. That fucking freaky monkey again. What the hell is all this stuff? Conquer's Bad Fur Day, anyone? Right. Oh, hang on. We're getting kind of close to some uh, evidence, apparently. Right. Whoa! Hello! That's her, isn't it? Grace. Because I'm a bit of a dick. What? Is this training again? What the hell is this? Home? Home? Really? Okay. What have we got here? Bridal dream. All right. I I guess I was married at some point, right? <laughs> hey, honey, it's me. Ah. Pick up if you're there. Okay, well, bad news, I'm afraid. The caterers have cancelled on us. Said they were double booked for the Saturday, so we're gonna have to find someone else. You and you getting married would be so much work. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Love you. What the hell? Okay. I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2pm sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain. Back in 1992. Right. <laughs> Alright. Is that meant to be me? My wife was a painter, I guess? My darling husband, I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll be free to focus on my art, and you, well, <laughs> you'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. Is that a little baby? I think it's a little baby. What do you think, boy or girl? <laughs> okay. Fucking hell. I, I'm, you know what, I'm actually not sure if that's meant to be me or not, because that doesn't look like the picture I saw earlier of, of myself, but maybe, you know, I looked a bit more rugged, obviously a bit more worn down, I've killed a load of people, so... Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Anything over here? Yep. Another post-it note. Hey, 
I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news. And you may want to brace yourself. <laughs> Lucky loads. Over here then. Honey, are you okay? Oh. Talk to me. But are you are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said. I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> But that can't be right. It can't be. That means... It means we're not just a couple anymore. It means... We're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? I didn't realise I was showing you anything! Are you in my head? Right. The fucking music in this game is bloody amazing. <laughs> Find your way back, Mr. Black. Focus on the right photo and, and come back to me. Righto. Okay. So can that just happen occasionally without using any photos? Because what triggered that? It was Grace. What the fuck? Hello. <laughs> Aw. What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So there were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. Right, indeed. Yes, okay. I I'll, I'll get to that as soon as I've just had a look at all the documents that we've got in here. What, what have we got? Oh. Oh, these are specific toys for the therapy. Okay. Okay, so John Leonard. Uh, <laughs> who gets the monkey? 219, whoever 219 is. Weird, okay. Uh, yeah. In here? No? Right, let's see. Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25. Right. Let's imagine. Tonight, you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street, and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your, your hands get sweaty. You don't understand what's happening to you. And you're an adult, for Christ's sake. You shouldn't be scared of a horse. No, no, oh, come on. They can kick pretty hard. This phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour. Maybe less. Uh, Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just you know, stood there staring, watching, breathing, waiting. You woke up and you were terrified. I call it TRT, Toy Regression Therapy. <laughs> Give patients toys or mementos from their childhood and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles. <laughs> I have to say, uh, not a brother or anything, but my friend did that once. Um, I was having a sleepover at my friend's house, and he had a scream mask, like scream from the film, and he just sort of like leant over me as I was waking up, and I screamed so fucking hard, Jesus Christ! Just for that split second, I was terrified. And then, of course, I punched him in the face, and we got on together. It was great. But um, yeah, there you go. Hang on, is it around here somewhere? Oh, it's this! It's th oh. It's you. <laughs> DNA found. Female. Ah. 22 years of age. Hang on, hang on. Wait, which one? This one over here? 617 John. Oh, okay. Well, unless John is Grace's name. Uh, mm. Well, there you go. Is it the Mad Hatter that I'm hearing? I'm d oh, God. That wasn't even on the map. Where the f Oh god, alright, let's see. Oh, this is so weird. Through there? No? Through- What?! Here we go, we've got a better view of the mannequins. And that's- yeah, that is what they are, the mannequins. Not like mummified bodies or anything like that. What the hell, though? There's nothing down here that I can have a look at or anything? Wait, th this has got to be- this isn't evidence or anything? Oh my god. Hang on, what was that? Oh, there is something here! 
Okay, let's see. Many patients in Lithurst claim they've seen the Puppet Master. Rumor has it that he's sec been secretly roaming the asylum for decades, somehow controlling uh, all of this, showing us the paths we have to follow. I myself have never seen him, but I dread the day I finally will. Donkey Kong, there you go. I actually feel like I'm going mad. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Better go see what you're pointing at, right? That way? Alright. Is that of interest? Oh, it's a dead end, okay. It always seemed real to me, even before I got here. The puppet master. The one in control. Because I sure as hell wasn't in control. I felt like shit for as long as I can remember. Everyone was mean to me in school, I was constantly bullied. But I assumed it would stop once I was an adult. Because I believed adults would be too busy to waste time on hurting the people around them. Well, I was wrong. So I found comfort in pills and drinking. But there was always this... presence. Like an enormous hand hovering over me. It wasn't my decision to go there and start shooting those people. I'm surprised it's the only thing missing from those CCTV recordings. The black strings coming out of my hands and feet. And the shadow looming over those poor bastards when I was finally made to pull the trigger. Wow. Okay. Like a literal puppet master pulling the strings and making you do all these abhorrent acts, I suppose. Is this what you're pointing at? Another mannequin? No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Fuck, man. How? What? Oh, God, hang on. What is going on here? I, I just saw a red dot on my map. Fuck. What? Okay, hang on. Right. We've got a lot of things to have a look at. This is weird. What the hell are this puppet master? The puppet master is not the man on the screens, nor is it Dr. Benway, who ran Lithurst Asylum until the hospital was officially closed. A few say there is no master at all, as we're all destined to fall into darkness no matter what we do. Is it even possible? Puppet strings attached to our hands, but no one there to pull them? Donkey Kong getting deep there. Alright. It was weird as fuck. Right. This is actually getting steadily freakier the, the more I go through this and the more I hear about this puppet master. I like this. Okay, so let's see. 912, Tom Elliott. Patient suffers from anxiety, refuses to give away any personal information other than his name. He mentions many traumatic events from the war, but will occasionally claim he has simply witnessed these events in a film. Frequently repeats the phrase, We all think the same things at the same time. Uh, Dr. Benway's advice is to amputate his limbs, his tongue, his past, his will, he became too inconvenient. Benway, I, uh, I do have to question your methods in this regard. What the fuck? Thank you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much did this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker! I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. <laughs> Good you point. seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, certainly. Put him in a triangle or Let's something. Let's call that a nine, shall we? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God, man, what the fuck? Post-operative room? Can we go in? Oh, we can. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Where the hell is this guy? In here? Yeah, I think so. Shut up about the party, man. I'm going loony just listening to this. Isolation ward. No. Well, there's something else to have a listen to. Closing Lithurst. Oh, I mean, it's a sad, sad day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world. I only helped my patients get better. 
Nothing more. Uh, and there's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the media still criticize my methods? How dare they? What about my results? Hmm? And not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured. Not one. And I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. Okay. Again, I've got to question your methods. And I question your definition of better, I suppose. Right. What's over here? It looks like another sort of dead end. Have we got any more documents? I want to find as much as possible, really. Because I guess it's all going to be added to the board. Right. Our dearest amputees, Tom Elliott, John Doe, Richard Brown, Edward Waynes, and Robert Collins. Our dearest amputees. Fenway, you're out of control, mate. More ammo? Sure. Okay. Am I going to have to kill everyone here to get out? I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I'm really not sure. Over here? Oh my god. Right. That's got to be evidence, right? That has to be. Uh, oh. Oh, shush, shush, shush. I am grateful. Oh, great ones for allowing me this glorious service. Not only I have managed to free a handful of souls of their vessels, but I found new converts to help me spread the light. Soon we will become one in its glory. Feels like we're going to get snuck up on. It really does. Fuck, dude. Okay. Down. Up. Let's try down. Is that that damn rabbit again? Yeah. Wait. Whoa. There's something weird going on here, and I don't think it's just inside my own mind, you know? It, I think there's something paranormal here. This is very bizarre. It, uh, I wish I had the corner gun right now. I just have to use the map, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. That's... That's not the guy that I let out last time, was it? In part one. Same haircut. I... You, my saviour. Son of a I bitch. Said you wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brother's sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you cannot kill what does not live. They are free. And you will join them. No, I bloody won't. Sorry, mate. Bad decision. How could, whoa! <laughs> How could I have known? Right, there you go. Your dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? A little bit. i got to be honest, a little bit. Feels good to uh, sort of right it a wrong. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, man. Well, he was probably just as bad, to be honest. But, I mean, shit, that was my fault. Right, let's see. The king of the... what? The king of the wheelchair tower, Maestro Berry. He's completely lost it. Steer clear of the man or he'll... Or he says he'll eat your eyes out. Okay. The king of the wheelchair tower? Right, okay. I'm going through that way. What's this? What do we got? Oh, mailing system. Okay, let's see. Uh, we tested Ramsey's new prototype and it's still nowhere near close to the next big thing we're all hoping for. Five out of six testers reported... Symptoms of severe VR sickness, mostly headache and or nausea. Also, the so-called memory visualiz visualizing has some pretty major glitches. Testers reported that their memory worlds were fractured at best, and the whole experience was often described as confusing. Yep, I, uh, I can back that up. I think someone needs to address this with Ramsey directly. We wanted to start selling this thing next year, not in the next fucking decade. Please advise. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Right. There you are. Hang on. Oh boy, what have we got here? Oh, oh, is that... <laughs> that's Maestro Berry in the wheelchair tower, is it? Okay. Uh, three switches. Oh, I don't know. Let's, I try this one. Oh, I see that. That leads to the Maest that leads to the Maestro Berry in the, the wheelchair tower. What about these two? Is that... Might be the same door, to be honest. I kind of want to push the button. But I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. At least not yet. Let's go through here and let's have a look at him. He's not alive, is he? 
Hang on. Come on, evidence. This, yeah, there's got to be something here. There has to be. What the fuck? God damn it! Not again. Yeah. Match found. Redmond Macy, kleptomaniac. Known aliases: Maestro Berry. <laughs> okay. Yet more to have a look at. Robert Ramsey, genius or charlatan. Head of Future Defense Group's Science and Tech Department, Robert Ramsey is widely recognized as one of the most important innovators in tech world. However, to his detractors, Ramsey is a charlatan, frequently accused of stealing concepts from his lesser known peers. We talked to former ADS CEO, who claims that one of Ramsey's most successful projects was based on a theft. The Agitator. The Agitator? The Agitator, yeah, right there in the bottom left. Weird. Alright. Alright, back to the map. I need to know what's going on here, really. Can't open any of these doors, no. Through here. Okie dokie. Now where are we going? What else are we going to find? <laughs> I just keep hearing screaming in the distance. At least it's not the bloody party or the puppet master. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Walked right into that one. Okay. Any evidence around here? Time oh, blimey. talk about our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ah. ready. Okay. Anything else? No, locked door. Okay, it looks like we're about to take another trip and go back to a previous mission, a previous memory. So, I'll get through all these documents next time in, I suppose, part four of Get Even. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed these parts. See you next time. You cannot just shoot your way through every obstacle like you did when you broke into ADS. This Not is an every obstacle. <laughs> I like this guy. Hopefully, I don't have to shoot him in the head. No, no, no. <laughs> I was just spamming F there. Why don't you I didn't use bullets. I used the fist. Through there? No. Through. What? Is this what you're pointing at? Another mannequin? No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I will crush your fucking throat. <laughs> How? You have no arms. <laughs> Good point. Seem to be much My patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. Okay. Again, I gotta question your methods and I question your definition of better, I suppose. <laughs>